This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The ducks. If you are not familiar with the basic stitches, you can watch the tutorial videos first and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn and the kids. We will use 2.5 mm crochet hook. And we're gonna make three ducks. This is the mother duck. These are two baby ducks. We'll demonstrate the yellow baby duck. Please make the white one by yourself. The main body. Take out the corresponding yarn. Working into a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. If the yarn tail is too short, we can pull the yarn tail to make it longer. If the yarn tail is too long, we can pull the side to shorten it. Make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. A magic ring is from our middle finger. Work into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the magic ring. In round one, stop with one chain stitch and then work six single crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Make a chain stitch. Yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. A V-shape is formed on the side. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work six single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. A V shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape.
Mark the first stitch of every round. Continue to work five more single crochets in the same way. Six single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, with one slip stitch, remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook. And pull up a loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Snip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Repeat. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. Repeat one more time. OK. That's a slip stitch. The slip stitch suffers connection and is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If the yarn is too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. In round two, start with a chain stitch and then work six increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. With one chain stitch first, yarn over the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. A V shape is formed on the side. A chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 6 increases. Increase means working 2 single crochet in the same stitch. Insert hook into the first stitch where we just wore the slip stitch of last round. Yarn under the hook and put up a loop. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The first single crochet is done. Remember to mark the first stitch of every round. Work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch.
One increase is done. Continue to work five more increases in the same way. We need to work two single crochets in each stitch. Six increases are done. Finally, work one slip stitch. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch surface connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 2 is done. Pay attention to the yarn tightness during crocheting. If it's too tight, we can insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. In round 3, start with the chain stitch. Then work a sack of one single crochet, one increase for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Work one single crochet in the first stitch. Next, work one increase. We need to work two single crochets in the same stitch. Work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Keep working five more sets.
six sets are done. Finally, what one slip stitch. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first slip on hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 3 is done.